Right, so what have we got in here? This is my third little book finished. I wanted to make five of these initially, but I underestimated how devoted I would be to each one and how carried away I would get with each one. So I'll take it out of this little bag um, and then I'll just leaf through it with you. Just let me find the front and the back, so that's the back, okay. So, it's actually staying together more than I thought it would, to be honest. Where do I need to be here? Right, so this is the front, first page. Okay. Second. Dangly beads there. Third. Just get my hair out of my eyes, I might be able to see what I'm doing. That one. That one, this is a, I love this, this is a really delicate bit of paper that's folded over on the page. I've used safety pins a couple of times in here because I just like the word safety and pin together. That combination of words is, I really like. So that's that. And then over here, I've caught it down with a really nice silver bead. Not real silver, don't get excited. This one, this has got um, layers going on here. Okay. These ones. That's one piece there. We see quins down there. I don't know if you see them. And then I've got a little bit of cloth that I stitched there. That's secured with a really nice that's vintage that button. Oh and this has got like dangly beads on the bottom. There. And then this one, that that's like a bit of green machine embroidery held down with a band of cross stitch and the cross stitch is secured with little buttons top and bottom. And then this is the one with the silver bells that I really like. I'll be jingling when I walk when I carry this. That's got a nice little silver bead on it as well, that sample there paper clip that is staying I think because if you move that to the I'm not I'll have to undo it if you move that to the side like that that unravels and that's the piece that was on my blog the other day with the little um little beaded dangly things okay so that's like that just fasten that down with a paper clip this is another little bit of that fabric I made myself um, over another sample. You saw this on my blog the other day, I think, the one with the gimp. And then under there, embroidery. And this is the back page. And this is pinned and it's staying just because this is quite a long sample. So it's safer to me, pinned like that. Um, rather than hanging out at the bottom of the book and then embroidered paper with beads and a little bit of doodling and some more of that cloth that I made, that very fine cloth so there it is that's the third one, number three okay